Hey everybody, it's Tracy here, and we are going to jump into video number 12 of <clears throat> The Fear of the Lord, Color and Memorize the Bible with Me. This is a book that I made. It's one of a few different books that I've made, and we are working through the 18 uh, sections of, uh, it has one, at least one verse, if not two, um, I think they're all single verses in it, uh, but on the fear of the Lord. I also have the, this is for teens and adults. I also have the elementary age that has the wider lines. Hard to see in that, on that right there. So the last verse we worked on was this one. Um, I am doing two videos today. Um, I did video 11. We're going to do video 12 also. Um, but I'm not going to um, release video 12 for until like next week. So, anyways, <clears throat> today's verse is Proverbs 15:16, and I'll read it. And we will go over the, some different ways to memorize the Bible, which you can apply to memorizing anything. The more of your senses that you use, the better you, we retain information. Um, but there's some ways for um, writing this out that will help us also. So with that, um, oh, before I start, I do want to let you know that you can get this book and the children's version um, on Amazon. That's where all my books are self-published through. So let's turn this around. And let's go. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Proverbs 15, 16. Um, in case you haven't been following along um, through the series, these, um, probably most of these verses, I know there was um, uh, a bunch of verses on the fear of the Lord that I was working with my boys to memorize when they were younger. And um, I decided to do a book on it. So I do encourage you to Memorize these verses along with your kids. Um, you know, the Bible will change your life. Uh, when you give your life to the Lord, your life will change. So, all right, let's color for a little while together. We don't have to finish the page together. And I try to keep these videos around 20 minutes, um, under 20, about 23 minutes or less. Sometimes under, they may be under 20 minutes. Now, in this, on this, verse I didn't give any um, spaces in the letters to color so we won't have as much to color but I encourage you to get as artsy as you want with your pages that means color outside of the lines um, add some background do what you want when the book is done it makes a nice keepsake of your artwork and especially if you're having your kids work on these um, it's a nice keepsake for you you can also use this in homeschool for homeschool Bible work, and I have a free tip sheet on the benefits of doing it of, of that from this and um, and uh, how you can implement this along with a study. Okay, so I, that I'll put the link to that in my description box also. Okay, so let's see. I think it's a good idea to read through that chapter of Proverbs that we're on, Proverbs 15. I did not do that before I started this page, but um, I may do it later tonight. But I want to encourage you to read through that whole chapter of Proverbs 15. Also, there's 31 chapters of Proverbs in Proverbs, so that would be a really good way to to get into the habit of reading the Word of God if you're if you struggle with that. Do a chapter in Proverbs a day. Some people um, I think do like a chapter in the Old Testament and a chapter in the New Testament per day so they're hitting both books. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and start by writing this out. Let me move this out of the way. And remember we're going to write till we come right on the line till we come to the punctuation, then we're going to drop down a line, 
go till the punctuation and that helps us to keep in context what the, what, the, what the verse is saying. Punctuation is guardrails and that helps us to um, you know helps us to keep like I'm saying keep things in context. <clears throat> now I'm looking at this and the whole verse ends with punctuation so there is nowhere to stop in between so what we'll do is we'll just drop down to the next line as we need okay so I'm gonna start here better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. And I'm just going to put the reference on the same line, Proverbs 15, 16. Now, um, I think I mentioned, if I'm not mistaken, that the more senses that we use, the better we retain information. So we're here, you're hearing me say this. Um, you're, you say it out loud as well. Um, by writing out, we kind of feel it. We feel the direction of the letters. <coughs> and then we're reading it. <coughs> Excuse me, so we're seeing it. nice thing with this book too is that you can just flip through it to, to review your verses anytime you want as if you had made index cards Now we can also trace right over the over the letters to help extend um, to save space so we have more lines to write that out or if we want to save these lines for Bible study, prayer list, writing out our prayers, listing things to be thankful for. So let's just trace over this. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Proverbs fifteen sixteen. My bunny's going to look kind of weird here. I'm doing some different colors, but uh, that's all right. We'll see what he turns out to look like when I'm done. Now the book for the for the elementary age kids has it features the wise owl in uh, like some different costumes and some different scenarios. 
it's it's but it's geared for elementary age kids so in fact I think I'll I'll use my pencil for some of this I use colored pencils paper mate flare pens and um, just you know what what I have and These are brush markers, so it's almost kind of like you're painting. my phone here. Oops. Oops. All right. <clears throat> We're going to read the verse again out loud and I um, think we'll trace it, or not trace it, but write it out one more time also. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith, Proverbs 15, 16. You know, that reminds me of uh, people who will um, um, do anything to be rich or will compromise right for wrong just to be rich. Um, we have to be careful not to make things, money and things, an idol in our life. That is the sure way to trouble and um, not having happiness. So God, God says that it's better for us to have a little bit rather than great treasures and have the fear of the Lord, which we are better off with and not the trouble that, that we would have otherwise. Um, our verse, the previous verse, talked about how the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. So, very important that we take God's word seriously. I'm just going to add some lines to my mug here, just to make it something different. <clears throat> and we're going to write out the verse again. I'm going to skip a line. You don't have to, though. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Proverbs fifteen sixteen. Okay, I'm gonna do some red here. Sometimes I like to add, you know, some other stuff to my page. 
Like these, I, I think I'm going to make like some vines with some leaves and some flowers. And we're not going to finish our pages together, so you just go right ahead and work on your own page when the video is done. And if you need to replay the video, it'll be up till who knows when. I mean, they just stay up pretty much indefinitely on my channel unless there's a reason to take them down. Let's go over that verse one more time together before we part ways. And then I want to encourage you, um, you know, if, you, if you're watching this video and you don't have the book, you don't have to get the book. You can always just work on the verse on line paper and you can make your, you know, staple your pages together. Or if you just want to use this time to, you know, as an opportunity just to have someone to kind of help reinforce the verses with you, you know, while you're listening on YouTube and then you can trace them out. You go right ahead and do that. Um, I will have links to my books in the description box. So let's read it one more time together. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Proverbs 15, 16. Alright, you all have a good night. Don't forget to read through Proverbs 15. And if you have any questions for me, just drop me a comment, okay? Thanks for uh, hanging out and working through the series.